What's up guys, it's me Janar from Janar's Tunes. It's been a while since I talked to y'all um, on YouTube and uh, I'm kind of like holding my camera a little bit weird because uh, trying to turn around the right way. Um, I'm not looking at my screen, I'm just looking at the other side of the camera. Anyways, so I was going to talk to you guys about a uh, Italian, I guess it's a percolator or espresso, but it's an old school machine. It's not like electronic. Put it on the stove. You probably, if you see, you probably recognize it. Um, I'm gonna tell you my little rendition of what I think it does. I'm pretty sure that it does do this, how it works, and how it functions. I just gotta open this thing up, and uh, I'm gonna show you. Like, hold on one second. Let me get this thing up and open and at it. So these are the three parts of it right here. I don't know if y'all can see that, but yeah, something like that. That's it right there. These are three parts. Um, there's the there's where the coffee ends up. This is where the water, the hot water, goes through. Um, this is I just used it a little while ago. This is the uh, it's kind of like the espresso machines with the little handle. You just pack it in full of espresso, but we kind of have it like coming up a little bit. We we packed it in there pretty good. Um, so you put the water in here. You let the you let it boil, and then it just steams right through the tip of this right here, like it's completely closed. It steams right through this tip right here. And it goes up and um, it comes through here and it and when you open this up you could see it coming out of this like little spout right there it's kind of like a steamer but it goes for all the way from the bottom put this on the stove and uh, it it just boils and rises and all this mixes with the water and it steams and then it just well this is supposed to be screwed on hold well, on maybe I can do it one it's supposed to be screwed on and uh, it comes to the top and it fills up all the way over here and you'll see it just, just all of a sudden when it's ready it just start pouring out each side it was so crazy I, I did it for the first time today uh, maybe I'll do another video later or something showing you guys how it's all working and stuff but it's pretty stinking crazy man this thing is amazing uh, it's like we use the Italian roast uh, Lavaz or uh, I think it's called Lavasa it's it's like from Italy it's really really tasty it's it's kind of like sweet uh, it's got it's got a good kind of bitterness, not like a nasty aftertaste. Like after I drink it, it makes you want more. Like wow, where's my coffee at? Oh, I just drink it, kind of thing. Um, this is after I put a little bit of milk and pumps in it. I just did it in that. Um, it's really <laughs> that's what I like. I like it a lot. Um, you just close it and you just uh, kind of stick it on the oven. Make sure not to put it. If you ever get one, to put it, it around the whole base of it. Put it on the tip because this plastic right here will will melt from the steam from the oven or whatever so but that's that's it right there in a nutshell it's it's really really tasty if you guys get a chance find one of these and make sure it has the the um all the parts with it and uh another thing um maybe i can take it apart and show you guys before i get too carried away almost almost that's it's, it's got to be unscrewed <laughs> hold the phone let me see real quick i'm like a coffee connoisseur i'm trying to learn everything i can learn about coffees because I want to own a, a coffee shop and uh, I want to know about everything how it works all the science about everything see that there's like a seal right there um I'll put this down there's a seal it's a brand new seal we put on last night um don't mind the garbanzo beans I'm making some uh, some bomb uh, hummus later <laughs> but uh there's a seal right here it pops out you can get like a little butter knife or whatever pop that sucker out and then change it I mean Otherwise, all this will seep through the metal right here. It's like a gasket kind of thing. But this, all this, comes up through here, and it just, just boils over. It comes up through there, and it comes out of that little spigot, and it's just like amazing. And that's my little rendition of the science of this little Italian coffee um, nostalgic little thing we got going here. And I really like it. I love it. Thanks to Jim and Joanne. They hooked it up. Um, they uh, said, here you go, guys. We've got a couple of them. You know, Merry Christmas. Happy birthday. My birthday is like in a few, like in a week or a week and a half. So it kind of helped me out. It was kind of hard to do with one hand. But yeah, it's, it's kind of like rub the lamp. There's a genie in there. Anyways, um, so yeah, I really like it. Um, and it's pretty cool because it's authentic. Look, if you look real close. Junior Express, made in Italy. Oh, yeah. What you know about that? Mm-mm. And it's pretty, pretty stinking nice. Like, I really like it. Let me see if you, if you can read that. Junior's Res made in Italy. It's really cool. Um, they got smaller sizes. Like this is straight up from the counter. 
they have some like this size where it's like half the size and they got like a little bit of taller one um and uh so uh i hope you guys liked all that stuff i just talked about about the little coffee shop thing or coffee shop idea i have maybe one day i'll have a coffee shop hopefully i'm gonna strive towards that it's a little journey but we got this so you can do all things through christ it gives you strength and i'm 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 really relying on god for this one because i want a coffee shop and a and a coin op in the, in the same thing and it was it's just gonna be sick but i gotta learn my stuff i don't want to just have a coffee shop to have a coffee shop i want to I want to have good stuff. I want to have a fun like environment and atmosphere, and um, I want it to be um, musically inclined. I want to have an open mic night there. That's been my dream. Whatever I own, I want to have an open mic night. I want to have music involved, maybe once or twice a week. Have a grand piano there, but like a lock so nobody just messes with it and breaks it. But like I have this all in my head. I've always had this dream since I was hacking young, and I just I just want to play as a community, you know. And if I don't have good coffee, I ain't gonna bring nobody there. I mean, you know, you got to have a good coffee and a good environment. So, with all that being said, you know, just uh, if you guys have any pointers, throw them my way or whatever. Um, and I'm going to keep on brewing with the Brewster and the brewing. I call this Lincoln. For those who know about music and worship leaders, I call this one Lincoln because it's my brewer, but I call it Lincoln Brewster. So, that's, I named it. Yeah, I shouldn't name things. That's kind of whatever, but that's what I do. I call it Brewer. Brewster. Because it's a brewer that looks like a rooster. Okay. All right, guys. Hit me up on um, my Facebook, my Instagram, my Twitter. All the links will be below. Um, and uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe, like, comment, love mail, hate mail, whatever you got to say, just say it and I will read it. <laughs> All right, guys. Take it easy now. Bye.